So today we're going to be showing you uh, one of our spaces that is a linear space. We have a lot of different types of levels in our games. This is kind of um, sort of like one of our, our boss fight levels, but it's a little bit different than you'd expect a boss fight to be. It's kind of one of our action-packed linear spaces. So before we get into that really quick, um, let's gear up our players. So you can see that uh, both players are given an arsenal of weapons in this game um, to choose from. We have a lot of the weapons unlocked for this, but I'll go ahead and pick a machine gun for this one. If you want to go over and grab a, mach a machine gun really quick, I can explain the artifacts and relics. So the artifacts and relics are power-ups in our game. So the artifacts are a constant boost that can do both positive and negative for you. So you can see this one ups your defense, but decreases the power of the bombs that you have. So you, you, we also have ones that will do just positive, and then if you get even further in the game and do some of the harder puzzles, you can unlock ones that even do multiple um, boosts. So these are a constant boost to the player, and you can use it to kind of customize your player. So if you want a player that's good with defense, good with a bomb, does more damage when they shoot, you can do that. And the relics are our power-up system. So you have in your HUD this bar that's this dragon, and by killing enemies without taking damage or collecting gems, you boost that bar full. And when it gets all the way full, you're given whatever power uh, the relic has. Those also can have multiple abilities that you get things like ammo regen, health regen, that will only work until you take damage. After you boost your bar, you take damage. It goes all the way down. You have to refill it. Lara Croft uh, is a little bit of a different adventure for Lara um, than she's ever been on. It's, it's her first ever co-op game. You can see that you have Totec there, who's the master of the shield and spear. So if you go ahead and uh, aim with the right stick, and hit the right trigger, you'll throw a spear. Um, those are great for combat. A shield can also be used for combat. If you hit the left bumper, you can actually block. So if enemies shoot projectiles at you or there's a trap that shoots arrows, you can actually block it with that. Um, and even though those are great for combat, they also serve uh, a purpose in the co-op platforming. So if you hit the right bumper, he'll put his shield above his head. Laura can actually jump onto that shield, and he can move around while Laura's on top. He can jump while Laura's on there. They can actually, if you jump and I jump from your jump, we do what we call the co-op double jump. So Laura also has some of her trademark gear. She has the dual pistols with infinite ammo. She also has her grapple hook, which can be used to shoot to fixed points in the world. But also, she can throw it to Totec, and the two can use that to swing up and down and climb over obstacles once Laura's boosted up. Um, Laura can also jump to Totec's spears and use it as a platform and then jump from that. Totec can throw three spears in the world at, at a time um, and Laura can use that to get around in the world. So we'll get into this space a little bit. You can see a variety of en enemies in this setup. We have enemies that throw projectiles. When the green enemies die, they actually release poison that can do damage to the players after they're dead. If you see these skeleton creatures, they'll fall down, and if you don't bomb them in time, they'll actually regenerate. As you can see, you can also bomb your friend. 